Thank you for the free advertising. Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. Oh yeah, here we go. This is a response video to a response video of a video. <laughs> it's ridiculous, okay? So I want to let you know, though, this isn't an attack video or anything. I just wanted to clarify a couple things that were said in both videos uh, on my stance. Whatever, so be it. I'll just let you know, okay? So I have some notes. Okay, so... First of all, Bronze Age Nerd did a video about Comics Elite on his uh, dissatisfaction with their company. You know that I am connected to Comics Elite, or at least we were. Um, we still have a business relationship, but on YouTube we were connected for a while. Uh, I wanted to bring them to you guys, offer you cool exclusives, do certain things. There's a lot of things that, oh, Bill made money, whatever. Yeah, I got a percentage off the Econ 5 code, but that percentage was taken out of that percent you know that you saved it doesn't matter i was trying to help you guys save money and I, I made a little bit money on the exclusives that we would split we would both go in together and stuff like that regardless that that time is over um the code no longer exists stuff like that anyway bronze age did a video about how he wasn't happy with certain aspects of comics elite uh there whatever it is maybe and you know he would he would say one thing and then he would say but and he would go back and he would say you know this is that and that and that okay and then of course Sean did a response video and he went through the entire video let me say to both of you guys both those videos were too long <laughs> Sean's yours was super long bro okay just say it super long but the point of it was that he was he had recommended them and now he wanted to come forth and say look I personally himself doesn't recommend them anymore for whatever okay uh somehow my of course my channel got named in there because i had a relationship with them bronze knows them from watching my channel and interacting between both okay uh there is uh something there that bronze said that i think was probably wrong I, well everything you know my view is different than his but but he said that uh comics lee's trying to step out of the shadow of economics and comics on social media uh if those who don't know sean's been on social media facebook instagram and all that for quite some time i think four or five years uh has a really big audience over there maybe in regards to youtube yes i helped him grow a little bit my subscribers went over there they didn't leave me they just subscribed to him too um and now there's a separation he has his own channel and i'm a ch yeah i get that but uh in my point of view there was he wasn't in my shadow at all he had his own thing maybe on youtube though uh but whatever uh so okay and, and then in regard to that uh bronze had said hey look uh you could use economics and comics he's a friend of mine uh you can use things from another world or anyone else these are the things i use i have problems with whatever and never uh and, and talked about the quality of my product and, and stuff like that so i think that sean when he said the shadow, <laughs> that might have triggered John a little bit, and that's why his video was so long. And of course, it's a, oh, against his business, and that's what anything's going to say, or anyone's going to do, I think. But I think overall, uh, Bronze Age video was very good, and I do think Sean's video was very good too. Um, it's just a preference thing, but here's the thing. When my business, my new business, my new online comic store, uh, gets challenged or in any way, I want to make sure that whatever said is corrected. Um, so again, this isn't an attack video in any way. So everything in the past, just forget about it uh, because that's all old news. Um, so I, I basically got brought in by Sean. He went to my site, which okay uh that's okay i guess thank you for bringing him to my site economicsandcomics.com and said he didn't think he'd offer a discount uh, i offered discount well over the course of that video while he's explaining it he's disproving his things but i just want to make sure you know i do have a code econ at six percent off uh the fo they're up on friday because i wait to make 
they're all right. Um, those come with around 10% off already, plus a 6%, 16% off if you want to pre order with me. It's just the evolution of me. I've always wanted to have a comic book store, okay? And um, Corona pushed me in that direction. Uh, I, you, I got a lot of help from Sean as well on building the store and everything like that. So uh, thank you for that. Uh, but, you know, it's just me again. I don't have a team. Everyone starts from somewhere. And I'm not a local comic store yet. I'm not a brick and mortar. I'm an online store. That you don't know big stores that don't have brick and mortar so let's let's keep going so uh let's just say that we're discounting all focs once foc is over they go to the normal price it's a benefit for pre-ordering guys um and of course my code econ uh there was a point where brian i got great comics and sean had said from me sean had said well of course you did because you're his friend okay well th that's an error okay that's not why he got good comics for me he got good comics for me because i am a stickler so what happens is when i receive all the comics i go through it all and i, I put all the damages aside then all you guys's orders i go one by one after they're bagged and boarded all the good stuff nine four or better i go through them and i go bag them up Boom, boom, boom. I'm not looking at their names. I'm looking at the books. So it's no one's getting specially treated. Even though I talk to Bronze and a hundred other people on YouTube that I consider my friends, he does not get special treatment. You can even ask him. He had a damaged Wonder Girl. He messaged me. I replaced it. So I can always tell you this. If something happens, something happens always in shipping. Okay, I'm not always responsible. But if I can replace it or refund it, I will. But no one gets special treatment. I just wanted to say that. Uh, there was also a statement uh, Sean made. And look, again, this is not a tact. This is a clarification. Uh, he had said, I don't think Bill has Penguin. What happens when Marvel leaves Diamond? Bill's not going to have Marvel anymore. Well, I want to clarify that for you. The day they announced that they were leaving and going to Penguin, I got the account before you did. I got it that as soon as that announcement hit, I apply to Penguin. I'm just waiting for them to produce comics so I can start borrowing my Marvel from them. I want to try them. I hope their shipping's better. So just so you know, I have Diamond, Lunar, and Penguin. Just waiting. No one's getting books from Penguin yet. Uh, they haven't yet. So to clarify that from the other video, because a lot of things are said without knowing. And it's better to know before you say something. Um... Yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, except one other thing. And this is, this one thing gets me, Sean, about you yourself. And I think it's important. I think you could learn from what I'm about to tell you. Um, and again, this is not a text. Sean's my friend. Uh, we, don't, we haven't been working together that much lately. He's extremely busy. He has a tons of employees to help him do his YouTube, his business. He has multiple businesses. I bet we play phone tag. We never answer. Uh, it's just the way it is. I'm extremely busy now myself with both. But Sean, there is one thing I want to tell you that, that gets under my skin every time. When you say that a comic book store working out of their garage, um, you're offending a lot of people. And me. Because I know for sure when you first started, you did not have a brick and mortar everyone starts somewhere okay um i'm not working out of my garage i have a nice air-cooled house <laughs> uh i don't want to bring anyone into this really but just an idea you could be offending comics kingdom in canada they're a gigantic comic book store but you know what he works out of his basement so just saying there's a lot of groups out there and and i feel like because you've made the next step to a lc a brick and mortar whether it's a real comic book store or not, I don't know. Or a storage unit, multiple storage units for all your comics. You have to expand. Eventually, I'm going to have to expand. But when you say that, you're attacking a lot of people. And that's the only thing out of the whole thing 
that really bother me, but you've said it multiple times before. It's like a knock. Oh, Bill, you don't have an LCS. Okay, good. I don't want an LCS. I can tell you right now, owning an LCS, owning a comic book store that doesn't sell online is 10 times easier than just selling online. And you know it. Because all you got to do is pull the book out, put it on the shelf. And you don't have to ship and you don't have to pre check. They can. I got to pre sell these. I got to check. I got to ship. It's like, and you do too. I'm not saying that, but like the comparisons is, is, it's a ridiculous thing. It's like a slam that doesn't need to be made. I could easily say that, you know, you were in the Marines. You started your business four or five years ago, right? I've been selling comics for 20 years. I've been selling collectibles for 20 years. I just net on eBay and everywhere. Uh, I've been going to cons for 20. I don't know. Have you been going to con for 20 years? Uh, uh, you know, I don't know. Right. But it's the same type of slam. Like I could say I've been doing this five times as long as you, but I'm not going to, even though I might have. <laughs> but, you know, that's my point is certain things are said to put down somebody. And that's the one thing that always gets me. So I would beg of you, brother. If you're going to ever, just don't say that. I don't care what you said. Just don't say that because it affects a lot of people. And Bronze, uh, now you know what it's like. Now you know what YouTube is like. Uh, everything has a reaction to a reaction to a reaction. Look, we're on the third goddamn reaction over here. And the only reason I'm doing it is to protect what I've built, to explain myself, to clarify any questions or answers. You don't have to use me. You can, um, and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I guess at least it was only 10 minutes long. <laughs> you guys are crazy. All right, later.